Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm gonna show you how I make my thumbnails and I use Adobe Photoshop CS6. So if you want to make thumbnails like I do then you have to go to your browser, I've put this link in the description and you have to download WinRAR. So just find the version you want to use, I will just download the 64-bit English version. Now I'm gonna wait for it to download. Now let's open this up, press on the yes and then just click install. Yeah just uh, have all these checked, okay and done. And now I have WinRAR. You need WinRAR to open my thumbnail package. So here I also have a link here. You just have to press on the download link here. This is my thumbnail pack. Now you can see there's a download going on right now. Now when it's done you have to put it on your desktop. So just throw it on your desktop. And now you have to right click on it and click extract here. Now you can see there's been created a folder. And this is my thumbnail package. And this is where I use all my things in my thumbnails. You can just drag this down here. Close the Google Chrome. And now let's just see what I have. So I have Alice dots. That's just for background. I have Gota dots. And then I have all these effects. And yeah, I use these as my thumbnails. So what you have to do now, you just have to open Photoshop. And now when you're on Photoshop, you have to uh, create a new project. So just go up to File, press New. And now you have to uh, put the width to 1280 and the height to 720. And yeah, you need to have these settings. Now just press OK. And now you can see you have a PNG picture. And now you have your background, but now you have to put in the dots. So I'm gonna make a go to thumbnail right here. So here in my thumbnail page, I will just put the go to dots in. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. And now you have to put your skins in. So just find your skins. And I don't really want you to use my skins in my thumbnail because they are my skins. So just use your own skins if you have them. And uh, here it's very important that the skins are PNG because I will just show you an example here. So for example, I have a skin here. Let's just try to put it in. Now you can see there's these. It's not a circle right now. You have to make it a circle in PNG. And you can check my skin tutorials where I show you how you make it a circle and not this box. But you just have to find a skin that's a PNG. So let's just find one real quick. So here's the skin. And now I will put this as the center. So this is this will be me. And now you can do whatever you want with the thumbnail. So let's just um just put it like to the side a little. Now let's make a copy. Make this piece a little smaller. Like this. And now let's copy it again. And you can, you can copy it by pressing Alt. And then you create another one. Okay, I can't get it to fit. Apparently. Okay, it fits here. And now we have the first part complete. Now you have to eat someone. Let's go to place again. And now find another skin you will use. I will maybe just use this skin. As you can see now, this new skin is above... The, the first skin and you don't want that so as you can see here this skin is actually above this one and that's why it's above the skin so you just have to drag this down here but don't drag it below the dots because if you do that then it will just disappear completely the go to dots has to be below and now when you've done this then you can maybe uh, make more by pressing alt again maybe like this i think you can do because right, as you can see now it's very crowded down here so you, what you can do you can create a group by pressing this one a group is where you can put maybe all these skins you can put in the group. So for example just do this real quick. And then you can just check this. And now you can see it's not that crowded. And that's very good. And maybe now we should get in some viruses. And I also have a virus. Okay I just realized I forgot to put the viruses in the thumbnail folder. But I will put it in, in the final one. I will just get some viruses in here. So here I have a virus. I will just get it in. Maybe make it a little smaller. Maybe like this, and now make this go below the group one, and not in it like I just did. Just get it out again, put it below, like this. Now it's below every skin. And now you should get some, as, as it is now, it's very empty. You have to also have some skins over here. That's also very important. And uh, yeah, we'll just get some more skins. Maybe just let's get this skin in. Maybe make these like as small as this. You can maybe tilt them a little. Let's get them below this skin and let's just copy them again maybe make the middle one a little bigger than the rest and now you have to make this below so the biggest one is above yeah like this I just copy them all again you can also just go over here and press alt to copy them so they're below and then just move them and of course you don't have to do thumbnails like me this is just how I like to make my thumbnails and again now I can create another group and get all these skins in here so it won't be crowded in here I just check this and now yeah it's still a little empty so you can just maybe okay wait I actually made a mistake here just find the middle piece because the middle piece is below right now and should be yeah it should be above okay 
there we go. And now I will get another skin in. And now I'm, I've actually done most of the thumbnail already. Now you just have to add some effects. And I also have effects in my thumbnail pack. I wouldn't really say I have many effects, but I have what I need. So for example, you can start by putting a fire. So this, let me just get it full screen. So this is just a fire. I, you've seen me use this before. Let's just get this out of here. And this, of course, needs to be at the top. And I don't really like how it looks now, so I'm just gonna make it way smaller. Maybe like this. And I really only want it to the left side, because here I'm gonna have text and all that kinds of shit. Let's get it completely up. Like, nah. Let's just pull it up here. And um, the way you make th things bigger, you pull shift. So for example, if you, if you just do this, you can just... Uh, but if you press shift, then it will just go up and not to the sides and shit. So let's just get it here. Yeah, as you can see, you only want the fire over here, but it's also over here. So how you remove it is you go to the fire, click rasterize layer, then you go to the eraser tool, and now you just erase this left side. And now you only have the fire on the right side, and that's what you want. It's very important you always save, because if it crashes now, then it will be very sad. So just save it and go. And yeah, just keep, every time you make a change, just save it by pressing Control s now to some more effects you can find your effects on google i found all my effects on google you can just go to google now you can just search fire circle png and you don't actually have to write png but it just makes it easier so now i have all these effects so for example let's just find a one real quick this looks actually pretty good but it doesn't have the right color let me just find a good color i have a purple a very dark skin right now so it needs to have like a dark color maybe Purple circle PNG. Wait, I actually also have to write fire in this. Oh okay, yeah, now I just found this that I, is already in here. This one. So for example, let's just put it in. But the problem with this is it's not a PNG. A PNG is, for example, this is a PNG. It's white in the corner. So if you put it in your Sony Vegas, let's just try it real quick. As you can see now, it's transparent. So it actually, there's no background. But if you put in the purple circle fire, then you can see there's this black bar and you don't want that. And it's actually very easy to fix. But yeah, you don't want it to have this black bar. So just go here, it says normal. Press this, and then press screen. Now you can see it has become transparent. And let's just uh, make it a little bigger so it fits with the ball. As you can see, there's beginning to come in some effects now. Let's just uh, put them on the other pieces as well. And yeah, of course, I press alt, and then just drag it. And now I will show you how you can create this light effect that I also use in my thumbnails. So you just create a new layer by pressing this little thing down here now go to the brush tool up here maybe put this up to 400 around that and make sure the hardness is at 0% just pick the first one here and now get the color to white but yeah you shouldn't always add this light effect but you can sometimes sometimes it works or sometimes it doesn't you can also make it so this one here is white effect and then because this is a purple color then I will give a purple color here and then I'm gonna put purple here but uh, yeah, that actually looks shit so let's just remove that let's just add a simple light effect because this is just how to do it so just get white and then just click you can click or you can just hold it doesn't matter let's just get an arrow in I will just pick a red I like this arrow so I'm just gonna put this in make it bigger by holding shift maybe this arrow needs to be one of the first things to show just get it up yeah now you can move it around but if you want to Make it so it likes this. Change the direction it's heading. So you just press control or hold control when you do it. I don't actually want the arrow to be this way. So just right click on it and press rotate 90 degrees. That was actually not what you meant to do. You have to click flip horizontal. Yeah, now it's to the right side. I just make it a little smaller like this. And yeah, now you actually nearly have all the effects. I think that maybe it's a little too less down here. I will just put a random skin in. And now you actually do only have to add text. And uh, adding text is actually very easy. Okay, so I usually add two text in the thumbnail. I add a text on my ball where it says Uhita. Okay, what is it doing? Okay, yeah. I add a text in the middle that says Uhita. So it's just right Uhita. But I don't have the right font right now. And the font is just the way it's written. Here I usually put th three budget... Why can't I talk? And here I usually put three buckets. Here I usually put three... Three budget MS. So yeah, it's just like this. Now I just press this check mark. Make it a little bigger here. And now you have to make it so the text is in the middle of this circle. And how you do this, you just click on your heater layer, hold control, press on this skin here, make sure you're on the move tool, press up here and up here. 
now it's in completely in the center and now the skin is not very it's not very easy to see the skin so what you need to do you need to go to stroke get the stroke to around three get a little drop shadow i will put this about 10 on each maybe 50 on each so it's a little more easy to see and i also have put a little text up here i usually put them in the left corner and now you have to use the guild sans ultra bold condense okay as you can see the, the text is way, way too long so i will just uh, split it up but if you split it up then you have to make two separate text layers then it will be better just tutorial here Let's put this at Guild Sans Ultra Condensed. Ultra Bold Condensed. This one right here. And actually make these uh, above the arrow. Like this. Now you can actually see it. Okay, let's also do it with the thumbnail. Yes. Now put the thumbnail a little above here. Maybe. And make it a little bigger. Like this. But now it's actually a problem because. Okay, I will have to put the virus a little above. Because the arrow is in the way of the text. And we don't want that. There's actually not really any good. Any good place to put it but i will just put it up here just for an example also move the arrow yeah uh, let's just forget the arrow you can always put them in but it doesn't fit in this thumbnail now you have to put little effects on these thumbnails so go to stroke maybe get this to around six go to gradient overlay and here you have to create your own gradient i can show you how i make made this gradient so here you have a regular gradient so here you go to the color below here you get this to a round orange, like this maybe. Here, you make it yellow. And in the end, you made a little more orange as well. Yeah, now that's actually nearly the exact same thing. And now you just press, now you just call it something. I just kind of call it tutorial and then just new. Now it's down here, now you can keep using it. And now you just make a little drop shadow. If it's for the top text layer, then you, you have to not make it so... Uh, but so much shadow maybe just 10 10 now for the bottom one you just do the exact same thing go to drop shadow put this to around 22 on each and yeah now you're actually done let me just put the thumb tutorial a little below and yeah that should actually be this thumbnail but of course you can always just maybe add a light but i don't really think it's it needs something anymore but yeah that's pretty much all for this uh, thumbnail tutorial but uh how to make it into a png or just a picture you can use you just go to file save for web and now you just press save you don't have to change this this is just fine as it, as it is save and i just call it something like this and now you have the thumbnail so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like down below subscribe for new thank you all so much for the amazing support and of course my name is Hita, and thanks for watching